and welcome to Snowplay, another video using Lavinia stamps. But first of all, we'll begin by going through the materials. I'm using the Spectrum Noir watercolour paper. I'm also using the lovely new Elements inks by Lavinia stamps. And you can see I've swatched the colours. We'll be using uh, Lagoon, Graphite, Mulberry, Marlow and Paprika. As well as these inks, we're of course using the Versifying Claire in Morning Mist, Medieval Blue and Fantasia. Distress Oxide ink in Ice Spruce and Tumbled Glass and of course the smoothies for blending the ink. We also need some water. I've got that in a spray bottle and um, a size 16 round brush and a fan brush. The Stabilo Wall Black Pencil and some chalk pastel pencils in blues and black. I have the white gel pen, the black fine liner and the Stardust pens in silver and blue. Glitter of course in blue and purple. and some paint that's a fluid ac acrylic in white. Now this is a small coin, uh, it's a five pence piece but a cent piece would do just as well and some kitchen roll. Now for the stamps. I've selected uh, these lovely stamps. We've got um, moving from the left hand side the floral reef small stamps the red pine in small, the fern branch, the fir tree, the little fox from fox set two, and bandit. Who could miss lovely bandit? He's so cute. Now for the background we're taking our piece of watercolour card and I'm spraying the back of it so that it doesn't warp and I'm taking my large brush and I'm wetting the first top half of the card now you can see I'm taking the lovely new inks and I'm just putting out on my craft sheet some of them and I'm sweeping uh, just very randomly um, with the large brush uh, the various colours just across the page uh, starting with the blues and then mingling in the, the ready uh, pink colour and then as I go uh, further on down darkening up with the purple and then adding the blue again. The horizon line will be just under the dark pink part and I'm adding sweeps to the bottom, a sort of hill shapes. Now you can see that uh, just above the horizon line I'm dotting in just whatever's left on the mat, some dark colour and the reason I'm doing this is that will give the impression of uh, blurred trees in the background. And this is just very loose, uh, whatever I have left, and you see I'm just adding some from the pad to darken it up a wee bit. Um, and this will dry very blurred and fuzzy, so it'll hardly be seen. Now I've taken the coin and the paper and I'm dampening it slightly with water and I'm pressing it in and there you can see it reveals the moon shape. Now cleaning that up I'm going to take the fir tree stamp and the Distress Oxide in the spruce colour and some torn copy paper and I'm inking the stamp up and while the paper is still wet I'm just pressing in um, multiple stamps of the Distress Oxide ink. Now the thing about uh, doing this onto damp paper is that uh, the ink being water based will merge in with the background and because it's Distressed Oxide it will oxidate to a certain extent and become very pale and opaque. Now on top of that to uh, add the, the fine detail we're using the Versifying Claire, which uh, is the type of ink we'll use that's permanent and doesn't blur when added to the water. And that's just adding the definition of the trees. 
As you can see, I'm stamping them multiple times at different heights just to create the impression of a forest. I'm also taking uh, the blue Distress Oxide in tumbled glass and adding a few of those uh, trees at the front um, because this is going to be a snowy picture and that lightens up the trees and gives the impression of background snow. Next I'm taking the graphite ink and the red pine small stamp and I'm using the copy paper just to uh, do a diagonal uh, edging if you like of the bottom of the trees. Now I'm stamping into the paper again while it's still damp and uh, these are beautifully juicy ink pads and the effect that that will give uh, is that uh, they will blur again into the paper to some extent and as they dry they'll become paler. Now that that's dry, as you can see it has got a bit paler, I'm taking the same stamp again and Fantasia Versa Fine Claire and I'm doing another couple of rows of trees and again like the background stage this is adding fine detail and darker trees uh, to the front of the mid ground. Now it's time to add the mist and I've got my Distress Oxide out again and I'm going to take the uh, blue tumbled glass first of all and a smoothie and as you can see I'm protecting the bottom of the work with uh, copy paper and all I'm doing is I'm taking the smoothie and the blue ink and just rubbing it across uh, mainly in lines and uh, the idea is to create the impression of mist particularly uh, at the bottom of the trees and across the centre of the picture. And using the same ink uh, and the copy paper, I'm just adding little ridges to the foreground. First of all with the blue and then you'll see with the ice spruce grey tone as well.
it's now time to add the focal point and we've got the element sink again in the sort of pinky color and orange and I'm starting with orange and I'm inking up the larger fox uh, in in that and I'm covering it with the pink and then taking the uh, Fantasia actually no it's the darker blue one and I'm mainly stamping the edges um, and leaving the center with the orange and the pink and I'm pressing down firmly and uh, the reason I'm, I'm using orange and pink is to pick up some of the tones in the background uh, on the top of the fox and there he is now I've done the same with the smaller fox and I've taken my Stabilo All pencil and where I want it darkened up I've added that in. Next I'm taking the pastel uh, pencils and I'm going to add the shadows and you can see I'm starting with the paler colours and the idea with protecting the, the bottom again with the copy paper is that I'm blending the pale colour to start off with and um, just very loosely adding in the impression of a shadow and uh, I'm building that up now with the mid-tone blue and eventually I'll be adding a little uh, darker black mainly towards the, the feet area um, and then uh, I'll do the same again with the other fox and then I go over the whole lot in a paler colour blue just to, to mix it in. I'm adding some foreground detail. I'm taking um, the dark uh, blue ink. I think this one's Fantasia, so it's more purple. And I'm also taking the fern branch and I'm just um, lifting that in my hand. I'm not using a, an acrylic uh, block. And I'm just uh, using it to create uh, the tops of the grass. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm sponging in some ink um, very lightly and then just very loosely stamping the top of the stamp on top of that and um, later on you'll see that I also add uh, some grey flowers on top of that and then I take the Distress Oxide ink and repeat the process in, in the, sm the, the paler snow part in the foreground
Next, as you can see, I'm taking the white Uniball Signo Broad Gel Pen and I'm just adding dots and dashes uh, to the foliage um, just to create the impression of some snow. And I just carry on doing that here and there to add just those little details. I'm also highlighting parts of the, the trees and add a little bit of snow uh, to uh, around the larger fox as well. Now off camera I've added in some white and uh, some sweeps of pink to the foreground because I wasn't happy with the stark contrast of the white. I've also added in a few more little stamps uh, around the corners as you can see. The reason I did that is just to add some of the tones of the sky into the foreground because it's sort of like a night scene. I felt it just needed a wee bit more um, shadow. It also gives me the opportunity then to create a border at the front um, to be able to stamp uh, more foliage, uh, taller foliage in the, the mid ground. Okay, time for some fun. We're taking the fan brush and some fluid acrylic in white and just splattering it on the picture. Um, I like the idea of uh, the fox at the front uh, playing in the snow so later on I'll add some additional uh, white dots with the gel pen and uh, little snow mounds uh, to show that he's actually playing in the snow. And finally, for those glittery touches, I'm using uh, some blue glitter and some purple. And I'm just dotting that around just to give a bit of twinkle. Um, and in a minute or two, I'm also going to take the Stardust pens in blue and silver and outline and highlight um, the foxes and the trees. So that's pretty much it and uh, here I'm trying to show you how it twinkles which is very difficult to capture on camera. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you'll also consider subscribing and hitting the like button which would be very helpful and as always I'll add some product links in the description box. Uh, if you have any questions I'd be very happy to answer those or any special requests for future videos that would be great. So it's bye for now, it's been a pleasure as always. I hope you get a chance to create your own version of the picture and have the foxes playing in the snow. Till next time. <laughs>